of the everlasting. Well, what else they gonna see? My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Lord God. Why? Because what we gonna see? For thine enemy have persecuted thee. Yes, they did. Right? But, but shortly thou shalt see. Shortly we gonna what? But shortly thou shalt see. Shortly we gonna what? Shortly thou shalt see. What we gonna see? His destruction. His what? His destruction. His what? His destruction. That's what we waiting to see, man. Right. That's right. So if your religion ain't talking about revenge and payback, for what has happened to our people, where that sign at? You understand what I'm saying? How could you stand behind that? That's right! Alright, give me our, our Ezekiel 22 and 16. Guess what else they gonna see? Since we talking about looking. Guess what else they gonna see? Cause guess what, they saw this. Nobody did a damn thing about this. Right! You understand what I'm saying? Nobody. The Chinese, every last one, I'm sorry. And you know what? And when these and, and, and when these white people was doing it, this it was a public spectacle. They did it in public. You understand what I'm saying? They made picnics. Because that's what the word picnic means. Pick a nigga. Read that. The book of Ezekiel. 22 and 16. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 16. Read. And thou shalt take thy inheritance in thyself in the sight of the heathen. What's going to happen? And thou shalt take thine inheritance. We're going to take our inheritance. Guess who? And who's going to be looking? In the sight of the heathen. We're going to take it right in their face. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Because guess what's happening? They are making a mockery of us. Right. So the Most High God had already said that because we broke his commandments, he, he, he's going to mock us. And if to this day we're a mockery, didn't we just see Gucci put out a black face? In 2019, put out a black face on us. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 36. Hold that for me. Okay. Go ahead, I'm listening. Now, now time is a plumbing, but I do want to answer this question. And this is the reason why I didn't answer the question on nationality. Okay. Because sometimes you don't always respond so quick. Sometimes it takes time to, to think about things because we are full of chaos and confusion. But the reason why I didn't put no specific on my nationality is because it will put a limitation on me, it will put a boundary. But I'm everything that ever was, is, and ever more to be. So for me to put a, a specific on my nationality, then like I said, I will be putting myself in a limitation. But I'm, a, I'm an extension of the great God. Were, so were, were, is, were so these there, people so each and is, everything so that is, they were supposed so to be? there is no boundary around me. So, so when you was there a boundary around me? So these when people? you ask me what my nationality is, uh -huh. I have no nationality because I'm an extension of the great God. Oh, were these people also? You draw? I ain't no doubt. They were, right? The extension of the great God. Ain't oh, no doubt. while they were hanging, right? Ain't no doubt. So how come it ain't everybody that was that, that that's an extension? Is there a certain no, people no. that's that extension, has, or is it everybody? Everybody has a different measure of understanding, and with time comes more understanding. Yeah, you had a priest up for me. Yeah. Bring that up. Did you want to say something, priest? So with that, my brother, I got. I, brother, what's your, what's, brother? What's, your name, brother? what's your name? What's your name, brother? What's your name? McSwain Hill. McSwain Hill. Yeah. Now you mentioned that you were more. Uh, ain't right? no doubt. We're gonna deal with that real quick. We and what the brother's quick, trying to give you, I, I know time is, is money, time is money. I get it, right? But I'm gonna read something about the more to you real quick. The definition of the more, of the word more, right? It says the term more is referred to primarily the Muslim inhabitants of the Mehrab and Iberian Peninsula, Sicily, and uh, the, the Monotel. Uh, during the Middle Ages. The more initially were the indigenous uh, Mohabian uh, Berbers. The name was later also applied to Arabs. The reason why I'm reading this to you because we as a people are taking on so many different identities and not knowing who we are. And what the brother why, is and bringing that's out why, And that's why I just stated what I stated. Are. I don't necessarily, even when I say I'm a more, I don't like to put a specific on me because right. it takes well, away from who I Don't really say you're a more. Because you're a Hebrew no, 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 no. you're not I'm a more. That that's, right. Right. that's the point I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm that and more. more. I'm more than a more. You're not a more. But I'm saying, but I'm saying that's what I demonstrate. All right, but let me ask you: Are you, you a more? Are you, are you still a more? In part. 
What part because, are you using more? Be, because the school of thought, I studied up under the school of thought. All right, but I, I studied up under Christianity. I'm, 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 but, more, but, I'm more than just, but, just one thing. But I'm showing you the etymology of the word more. Because through time, was, was I consume so much information, you have, no, you have no choice but to become more than just one thing. All right, brother, but you're not saying? an Arab, right? And you're not a Muslim, right or wrong? You'd have to be these things. You make more than 300. You'd have to be these things to be a more. You make more than 360. And you're not a more. See what I'm saying? I'm, no part of you I'm is more, more than a more. I'm you more than Hebrew a Christian. Right. That's what we're trying to learn. I'm That's more than a Hebrew learn. Israelite. Right. I'm more than. I'm all that consumed because I'm an extension right. of the great God. You, draw, you get that measure of understanding. The book of John, chapter eight, verse thirty. The book of John, chapter eight, verse thirty-two. My brother, my brother, before you leave, just understand this. Just understand this. Today, Jeremiah 8 and 3 real quick. Before, before you go, hey, one last scripture. Jeremiah 8 and 3 real quick. All right? Because what we want you to understand is we're not just out here for our help. You understand what I'm saying? The people that hear this word and walk away from it, you, you, gonna be re you can't unhear this. You're going to be responsible for what you heard today. And I'm going to tell you exactly what you did by walking away and not accepting. Read that. 8 and 3. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 8, verse 3. What did he do? And death shall be chosen rather than life. What did this brother just say? And death shall be chosen rather than life. What did this brother just do? And death shall be chosen rather than life. So when you walked away and you said that these brothers ain't saying nothing and you walking away with a triple doctrine that I'm a Moorish, black, African, pan, and you kind of did the whole kind of sorter and you slid up under you you about 18 different things give me james 1 and 8 okay what we're trying to tell you is all that royalty that you're talking about we are already it you don't have to find it nowhere else and we can prove it that's what we're trying to tell you okay because all that that you're doing all you're doing is choosing death because the, the white man that set this place up he don't want you to know this he wants you to walk away thinking that you're a Moorish, third-degree, Mason-American, Pan-American African. I'm more than that. All right, and, and on top of that, you're more than that. Okay, well, if you're more than that, you'd be flying. You wouldn't be walking. Bring it out. The book of James, chapter 1, verse 8. Read that. A double-minded man. What's this cat? A double-minded man. What's this cat? A double-minded man. He's a Pan-American, African, Hebrew, uh, Moorish American. A double-minded man. Man, you got about five minds on you, man. You have no clue what you are. Read on. It's unstable in all his ways. What's this cat? Unstable in all his ways. We pray that you repent. And come back to your nationality, That's your nationality, because right. right now you are unstable. That's right. You got on a white beater walking around here looking like three dollars and fifty cent, talking about you more than a Pan American African man. Get out of here with that. All right, so let's go back to where we was. How y'all doing? All right, if y'all have any questions, we do Q and A.